Tonight, allegations of embezzlement, backdoor deals, and criminal activity within the city of Inglewood. You may remember the city manager suddenly resigned after a woman died during a storm when a basement flooded. This was back in July. Well, residents blamed it on the city's old and backed up drainage system. Denver 7's Jackie Cramp gets an inside look at just what's going on. This council sits here and doesn't do the homework and chastises the other council members who do. Tempers flare at this Inglewood City Council meeting after accusations fly. Our city laws are being broken left and right. J.J. Marjada is part of the group Inglewood Citizens for City Transparency, a group alleging a whole lot of wrongdoing by current and former city leaders over the last two decades. There's people that are, you know, living very well. Uh, when the rest of the city is paying the price. Mismanagement of funds, embezzlement, the list goes on. The problems, he says, were obvious during the July flood that took this woman's life. The aging drainage system just couldn't hold up. Why wasn't the money allocated for the infrastructure to do these repairs? He's asked for copies of the city's financials several times, he says, under the Colorado Open Records Act. He tells us he's been given incomplete documents every time. He wants to know who is getting paid to do what. Zero oversight. Marjada believes it started in 1997 when the city created two separate corporations, but were still governed by a few city staff. The Inglewood Environmental Foundation, or EAF, and the Inglewood McClellan Reservoir Foundation were formed to handle city-owned property and to manage development on certain sites. But Marjana says it was to skirt the law. They've not paid any taxes on any of the income that they've had for 21 years. Are you a separate corporation or are you not a corporation? It depends on what day you ask and who you ask. City Council member Larit Barentine also started to ask questions. I asked for the financials. She says she was met with retaliation, a recall election, and hostility from the lawyers representing the separate corporations. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's an error. And it's not I try to explain that to you. That's an error. Because we will stop. By the end of the meeting, it's clear council wants an audit something JJ supports. All we're trying to do is actually make it a better city so we can find out where the problems are, move forward, and hold the people accountable. In Inglewood, Jackie Crea, Denver 7.